Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have a year-end episode, and it's mini LP slash EP of the year, and I mean, the writing's on the wall. Literally had to go with Wild Incantation, Time Wave Zero. Fantastic. And this is not a full length album, so hence why it did not make my album of the year video, but that video is not technically done yet. I'm still waiting on certain releases, and yeah, once those come in, then will make moves. It will be a live stream, though, but I know most people are gonna go with Worm, Blue Nothing, but Time Wave Zero, this is incredible. Like, when it comes to spacey, ambient music, you can't go wrong here at all. It's like a combination of some of my favorite like artists in this realm combined with the general weirdness that is blood incantation and it just makes something that isn't just blood incantation getting their tangerine dream on although that's there there's a lot more layers and influences and just the fact that this is a blood incantation release is just incredible. Everything about it, I really can't wait. You know, anyone that got to see the Time Wave Zero record release show, which is where this LP comes from, you are so fucking lucky. It, it hurts my head how lucky you are. There's like one sneakily filmed clip online. And I understand also I do not have the Die Hard CD version with the bonus song. But that bonus song is probably my favorite track that's not on here. It's just so good. It makes it so you want to go out and buy that edition. But, like, I don't even have a Blu-ray player. Like, I should get it for my nephew, but we got him a really nice 18-inch kink complete bike. Like, it's fucking sick. But you got the Don Dixon artwork. Just killer. I really hope this gets a cassette release. Just, you know... A lot of new age stuff, like, it just sounds, like, really cool on tape, and, like, some of the more, like, new age vibes, I just think would sound fucking really sick on cassette, but they sound great on vinyl. This was all captured on two-inch tape by Peter at World Famous uh, Studios in uh, Colorado, and you have to remember... It is not recommended to operate a vehicle or heavy machinery while under the influence of this 432HZ analog recording. Travelers are hereby advised to remain seating or supine throughout the complete duration of the recorded program. Stargate Research Facility, Stargate Research Society, I mean, and Century Media Records made this bad boy possible. It's just plain black vinyl. I don't have the Nessie version. I kind of wish I did, but I would actually play it unlike some people, which legit sometimes bothers me. Don't buy records to just look at them. I just, I just don't get it. Unless you know that's your thing, then... Do whatever the fuck you want. But just sometimes 
you're kind of rubbing it in the face of people that like don't even have a single version that like I've been like busting their ass like I know a lot of people that they want those like non bootleg original Cannibal Corpse recordings with the original logo and it's like on vinyl that's gonna cost you like it especially you know like i'm happy as hell with this bootleg right here this is my bootleg of the year created to kill i know it's a reissue but still this is the best bootleg i i got this year so yeah that's the only bit of death metal you're getting out of this blood incantation video but just so century media doesn't get their panties in a bunch maybe flipping sides won't get me in trouble <laughs> but black vinyl and I've heard rumblings of like a gnarly reissue, but just rumblings until I see it and then see it sell out immediately, then I'll believe it. But definitely needs the third song on vinyl. The third song is just, it, it's so good. It's something I, I personally, like I said, I just, I fucking love it. Like, all three tracks, but the two that are on the regular edition, that's all you really need. But the bonus track is the icing on the cake, honestly. It's your reward for patience. Because if you, you know, if this is your first dive into, like, ambient, you know, a kind of instrumental synth-based music. This isn't all synth-based, obviously, but this is such, no pun intended, such a great gateway into the entire subgenre of ambient music. New Wave, all that's not New Wave, New Age, I'm sorry. That's why you don't get too lit before you make videos, because you screw up on your year-end ones, and yeah. The layout is just absolutely what I've come to expect from Blood Incantation, nothing but the best. And for all of you that think this is selling out, you really have zero idea what you're talking about when it comes to this release and just Blood Incantation in general. Trust me, you are way fucking off. Like, it's incredible to me that, like, Blood Incantation sees, plans, through. That, to me, alone, like, I've kind of always gone to the Necrot, the Labyrinth compilation for, you know, validation on why I think looking ahead is a good thing and they knew like all right we're doing three demos and then a demo compilation and then we'll do a full length depending on how the demo compilation does and when you put all three pieces of art together you should know this I'm not trying to be a dick, but if you have a copy of this, you should know this already. Just because I know you've looked at the poster, but if you did not know, this is all three 
of the uh, demo covers put together in one illustration. And it's just fucking sick. But I think planning ahead like that is just something that I think is very important. It's something that I just think you need to really, like, give a shit about. I love the Kyle House artwork also. I think he did the Demon Grand. If so, Kyle, I, um, I really do want to get a Demon Grand tattoo. Next time I get a tattoo, it's either going to be Larry, the star, ba star baby from Blood Incantation Star Spawn, but it's probably going to be the Demon Grand. I've just always loved Necros logo, and I don't know why they fucking kind of dropped it on Mortal. Like, just the fact that, like, it was missing on the LP of Mortal, I was, like, kind of bummed out. Like, I was like, fuck. Like, I just always liked that little cosmetic detail of having the Demon Grand for the cosmetic. And not the blood offering all the way back there. <laughs> Sorry. But... comes to, you know, progressive music. I don't really know that much about it, aside from, you know, sometimes I'll hear stuff like Goblin and Zombie, and to me, I never really got, like, I never put two and two together and was like, oh, this is progressive rock, but, like, with, synth with synthesizers. Like, I, I never thought about it at all. Like, growing up, because I got really into, you know, synthesizer-driven music at a young age. Like, I'm so fucking stoked I have the Terminator soundtrack, like, right there, if I want to listen to it. And again, I have to thank Blood Incantation and Time Wave Zero for kind of, you know, being like, all right, Let's fucking dive into your other favorite types of music, you know? Like, I don't mind going over death metal all the time, but that's not all I listen to. And I've been saying it since day one. Like, to me, you have to have an open mind musically to really appreciate, like, music. Like, right now, I've sleep dope smoker in my cassette deck. I have Blood Incantation Time Wave Zero on the turntable. In the car, there's a UK black metal compilation on CD. Like, it's all over the fucking place. But, like, last night, I had a little ridiculous death metal listening session, and holy shit, some of the new Extremely Rotten stuff, you really need to check out. Like, if you've never heard Head Rot before, or, like, Entity, yo, like, don't sleep on these releases. They are so fucking gnarly. Like, especially, like, Entity sounds like if Infester played Grind. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking just ridiculous. But back to Time Wave Zero, I apologize. Again, Don Dixon artwork absolutely fantastic and uh 1975 on the back and i i love like there's so much cool stuff like the photography by nat matt novak though like yo that's one of my favorite promo photos, like, ever. This is on the back of that Time Wave Zero shirt I have. The European Tour one. But you get two tracks. And, like, Ia, 19 minutes and 40 seconds. And Io, 
I'm sorry if I'm saying these wrong. I've, I've honestly never heard anyone say the song titles in person, so I, I'm just going off my broken brain. So, IO, track one, side one, 21 minutes. Side two, Ia, 19 minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty standard, honestly, for an ambient release. There's going to be long songs, and again, patience pays off. That whole, you know, concentrate thing, that's what this shit is for. This is not just a piece of music. This is something that legitimately can metaphysically take you to other places. And if you don't believe me, then you know what? You might have to have yourself a little adventure. And I highly recommend if you live on the East Coast, winter is coming. Snow looks beautiful when you eat those things that Mario eats. And with this bad boy in the background, holy shit, I can only imagine a good time going to come of that. But that's not for everyone. You can be straight edge and just fucking meditate. You're doing your yoga, whatever. This should be your soundtrack. Unless you're listening to like Karma Moffat already and shit. Like, you know, like if you know these like classic releases and shit, like if you know Rest in Power to Klaus Schultz. Like, thanks to fucking Paul, like, I, I checked out Klaus's, you know, final record, and it just, it's so, it's so good. Like, seriously, watch their Amoeba video, and get a pen and paper, and just fucking write down a bunch of the bands that they go over. I think Isaac... And Jeff might be the only two that actually buy metal records. And, yeah, that's, you know... Like, if I'm ever looking for, like, really gnarly, like, new age, like, just, like, weird, like, Tibetan, like, shit, I'll, I just, I'll just ask Paul and just, you know, from his own work to... You know, I really love what, like, SFI and, um, there, there's just a lot of, like, just killer underground labels right now, like, and especially, I know it, this isn't dungeon synth or anything like that, but it is instrumental also, but, like, labels like Dungeons Deep and Out of Season. I really also feel have been opening a lot of doorways for people to get into instrumental music and projects like Grandma's Cottage, like with Memory Box. This sold out almost instantly. The Whole Dweller box set did sell out instantly. Luckily, I got one, and I think you have a, a day until the pre-order is over for the uh, tape box set because uh yeah so that's a whole different you know thing and i know that some of you viewers got into instrumental music through time wave zero so for one it's not just the channel that makes this number one it's everything not only is it totally sonically pleasing to the ears, it's pleasing to the eyes. And when it's time to chill, this is usually one of my go-to releases. And some of the other go-to releases when it comes to just time to chill are, you know, Hovercraft. Paul's solo shit, like, I just, 
I, I, I love it. And, you know, I went over this with my uncle. My uncle is like a composer and like teaches music at like this fancy music school and shit. And I was talking with him and I showed him, like, I, I was asking him about the equipment they use. And he was like, oh, like, holy shit. Like, they, he's like, they did it. He's like, he's like, these guys are, like, they're doing this real. Like, like this is all, like, equipment from the, like, 1970s. Like, this is, like, yeah, this is all vintage equipment. Like, and he was, like, legitimately, he's like, you need to get me a copy. I'm like, I, I want to hear what this sounds like. Because there's some shit on here, like, when I'm just, like, looking at, you know, what instruments were used, it's just, like, you start drooling, and it's just amazing. Like, just the the Moog Prodigy, the MG1 Concert Mate, and MF Delay, there's so much gnarly shit on here, like, Boss RE20 Space Echo, Moog Micro Morg MF Delay, Roland JP8000. I love the Micro Moog. That thing is bad ass. But I have only messed with that newer model, and I don't even know if that's the same fucking thing, honestly. I could be dead wrong. But, like, there's so much gnarly shit. I'm just going over some of, you know. Because there is a little bit of acoustic guitar by Morris. But, um, you know, I love, uh, the Moog Grandmother. Like, all the Moog stuff is just awesome. And, like, Bode Symbols, I have recently kind of been trying to make my own for Frogmas. And I, I've kind of succeeded a little bit. Like, it kind of sounds more like a gong, but... I would love to get the real thing, and, and it's one of those things that, you know, you wouldn't think would be, like, super heavy, but you can absolutely make, you know, like, legitimately uh, a fucking bold, a bowed symbol. You can legit make that probably heavier sounding than, like, straight up Earth 2. Like, just depending on how you're, like, droning it out and shit like that. It's just, it's a very cool percussion instrument, I think. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I didn't pay attention in music class, but, you know, you get the, the Hammond organ, Korg X5D, Sequential Circuits 6 track. Roland RE201 Space Echo, which uh, Jeff has as well. Like, it's just, a, when you look at it, it's like, holy shit. And I, I like this, you know, navigated via oblique strategies, copyright Brian Eno and Peter Schmidt, 1975-2001. I just thought that was, you know, super fucking cool. And, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what else to say besides, you know, fuck yeah. Like, this is technically a subdivision of Sony. So, yeah, this is Blood Incantation taking. To me, a massive step in the right direction because I can only imagine what the future is going to hold because, you know, the thing about Blood Incantation is the mystery. You don't know what's going to be next. And that's what's so fucking cool about it. When it comes to time wave zero, concentration is key. You really need to just 
sit back and fucking like I, I got so zoned out I accidentally when I flipped it I didn't even flip it I just put it back on side one I apologize but yeah Time Way Zero by Blood Incantation EP slash mini LP of the year instrumental ambient amazing love letter to 70s instrumental weird awesome progressive new age music if you're a fan of tangerine dream you are going to absolutely love this like hands down i don't have to sell you at all like I know the logo might throw you off, but don't let it, for real. And again, if you've heard, like, Star Spawn, Interdimensional Extinction, Hidden History, and that's not for you, like, you don't, you're not a death metal fan, still, give this a fucking try. This is not death metal. This is ambient space music. Cosmic music for cosmic people. If you're gonna wear that fucking... Put that bumper sticker on your car. Fucking live it. Don't just put it on your car because it's cool. Like, for real, I'm a fucking total, like, nerd about, like, space and lately about, like, meditation and shit. All because of Time Wave Zero. And I have to thank, you know, the fucking personnel behind blood incantation jeff morris isaac and paul like the death metal beatles and i'm not just saying that bullshit i know somebody said hey you don't have to say that we take your word for it but if you made it 27 minutes into me you know going over something that i kind of thought this might even be a little bit too obvious but just you know, as much as people are really digging the new, like, worm, it's good, but like I said, you know, it's just, so, it's cool, like, I, I, I really like the new, the new songs a lot, but like, I'd rather honestly listen to Time Wave Zero any time of the week, because it's just legit calms me down and that's the point like, like i love listening to this record with no lights on with like you know smoke a little bit and just fucking not think about like real life like you know like oh like your mom had cancer surgery like fuck all this not like your aunt died like last month like all this gnarly real life shit, you can kind of shut off a little bit with the assistance of Time Wave Zero and a little bit of self discipline when it comes to meditation. Because it's something that I, for a long time, kind of fought. I just was like, oh, like, that's not for me. Like, you know. And then after I broke my neck and stuff, I, I started looking at things a lot differently. I shouldn't be here. And, you know, this record really, really helped give me the motivation to try and get, you know, I, I remember when I couldn't do this. I mean, I still can barely, like, I, my left sucks. But I, I'm real, I, and luckily when I ride a bike, I turn to the right. But luckily I don't turn to the left, so I don't have to really stress that. But yeah, these two tracks and three tracks, if you have the special edition, hands down, there was honestly pretty much no competition aside from a few releases, but Time Way Zero by Blood Incantation, EP slash mini LP of the year with a bullet get into it 
As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Listen to Blood Incantation, the Death Metal Blood Incantation, and the Chilled Out Ambient Blood Incantation. You'll enjoy them both.